Hello viewers, this is a tutorial on how to automate try on Pinterest using Socinator. With this tool, you can easily try pins on Pinterest. Let's start with the Accounts Manager screen from where we can navigate to configure the account. To do that, right-click on your Pinterest account and hit Go to Tools. It will take you to the Account Configuration screen. You can also see the available activities which can be automated on Pinterest through Socinator. Let's click Try. This is very useful as it makes it faster and easier to try a number of pins within a period of time while narrowing them down in the process. There are several configuration categories for Try Activity. Let's start with the first one, Search Query. As the name suggests, Search Query allows you to command the software on how to search pins to try. There are two important sections, Query Type and Query. Query Type defines how you want to search the pin. To select the Query Type, click the drop-down button. Once you have chosen your Query Type, enter the query either manually by typing in this area, or you may click this button to import from CSV or text file. Select the right file and click Open. When you're done, click the Add Queries to the List button and it will be added to the Queries list over here. To show you how this works, let's test each query type. So the first one is Keywords. So simply enter keywords that are related to the pins you want to search. Let's say you're into pets, then type pets in this area. Click Add and it's now in our Queries list. So this will target pins containing this keyword. Next, we have custom users. So let's say this particular user, for example, copy the username of the Pinterest account you want to target. So this is the username cutesypoo.com. So copy and paste it in the query box over here. Click Add. And this will target this specific Pinterest user's pins. Next, we have custom board. So we need a Pinterest board this time. Let's choose from Cutesy Poo's boards. So let's click here. Let's choose this cat's board, for example. So copy the board URL here and paste it in the query box. Click Add. So this will target the pins on this Pinterest board. Next, we have Custom Pin. So let's choose this one, for example. So copy the pin URL here, paste it in the query box, and click Add. So it will target this specific Pinterest pin. Next, we have Socinator Publisher Campaign. This depends on the publisher campaigns we have created using Socinator. So you may view them in the Socio Publisher tab. Copy the campaign ID of the publisher campaign of your choice and paste it in this area, then click Add. Next, we have own followers. So this will target the pins of your Pinterest followers. Next, we have own followings. This time, it will target the pins of the Pinterest users you are following. Finally, we have news feed. So this will target the pins that appear on your own Pinterest news feed. You can add several query types and queries depending on your preferences. If you want to delete a query from the list, simply click the trash bin button on the right side of the query you want to remove. Let's say you want to delete the first one, click it, and it's gone. The next configuration category is Manage Note. This allows you to create and manage notes regarding the pins you want to try. Under the Try Text area, you can type the keywords of your choice. So let's say you're into pets, type it in this area, you may clear using the clear all button and it's gone. You may also import from CSV or text file by clicking this button. Select the right file and click open. To attach a picture, let's click the photo button. Choose the file you want to upload. Let's say puppies for example. Click open and it's uploaded successfully. You can add multiple try texts in this area. So one try text per line. And if you check this box over here, then Socinator will randomly select any of the try text. For queries, this depends on your search query from earlier, so you can choose one or more or all of them. So let's select all, 
If you need to filter text, then type it in this area. And when you're ready, click the Add Note to List button, and it will be added to the note lists over here. So you can see the try text, the query, and the media path. The Action button over here will allow us to edit or delete the notes. The next configuration category is Job Configuration. This allows us to choose the speed at which an account should try pins. We have already created a few activity speed configurations which you can use, like slow with an average daily activities of 20, medium with 83, fast with 166, or super fast with 333. Super fast is not recommended for new or real accounts. If you want to define your own speed settings, click advanced settings. Delay between each operation is the number of seconds between each pin is tried. Delay between jobs is the number of minutes the software should pause after trying the number of pins you set and number of tries per job. Number of tries per job will allow you to specify the number of pins you want to try per job or per cycle. You may also specify the number of pins to try per hour, per day, and per week. Click this box to increase each day with a specific number until it reaches another custom number of max tries per day. You can also create a daily schedule under day of the week when to operate. This is very useful if you want to keep trying pins even when you're asleep or busy doing other things. If you don't want to operate on, let's say, Monday, click the trash bin button under Monday and it's gone. You can add multiple time frames in one day. Simply click the day you want to configure, Monday for example, Provide the start and end time, let's say 12 a.m. to 1.59 a.m. and click Add Interval and it's added. Let's add another one on the same day. Let's say 2 a.m. to 11.59 p.m. Click Add Interval. So as you can see, we can have several schedules in one day. You may save these time settings by clicking Create Favorite. Let's call it Pinterest Try. Click Save. We can then open it by clicking Select Favorite Time and choosing Pinterest Try. The next tool is User Filters. This allows us to filter the Pinterest accounts whose pins we want to try. Check the first one if you want to target those who have profile pictures. The second one will allow us to specify the minimum and maximum number of pins of the users we want to target. The next one will allow us to specify the minimum number of characters in the bio of the profiles you want to target. Next, we can specify the minimum and maximum number of the followers and followings of the user. Next, we have must not contain specific words. These are the words that should not be in the profile of the users we want to target. So let's say you're not into politics, type it in this area. Again, you may clear or import using these buttons. And when you're done, click save. Next, we have follow ratio, which is ratio of followers and following. You can input the follow ratio less than or greater than a specific number. You can also provide a follow ratio in a specific range between two numbers. Finally, check this box if you do not want to target users with non-English text in their profile. This will make it easier for you to target English-speaking users around the world. The next configuration category is Pin Filter. This allows us to filter the pins we want to try on Pinterest. The first one will allow you to specify the minimum and maximum number of comments on the pins we want to try. Next, we can specify the minimum and maximum number of tries of the targeted pins. Next, we can choose to either ignore images or videos. Let's ignore pins that are videos. Next, we can specify caption blacklists. So these are the words that should not be in the pins caption. So let's say politics again. You may clear or import using these buttons and when you're done, click save. The next one is the opposite of the previous one. These are the captions that you want to whitelist. So let's say you're into pets, type it in this area. Again, you may clear or import using these buttons and when you're done, click save. The next tool is after try action. So these are the actions you want to perform after trying a certain pin. So first, you can choose to follow the user after trying their pins. You may also try the user's latest pins. So you can specify 
how many pins, as well as the delay between each try. You also have the option to upload notes. Follow the same steps earlier in creating and managing notes and click save when you're done. The last configuration category is manage blacklist or whitelist users. Blacklisted users are the Pinterest accounts you do not want Socinator to interact with. In this case, Socinator will not try the pins of the blacklisted users when this box is checked. So this can either be a private blacklist, which belongs to a specific Pinterest account, or a group blacklist, which is shared between all the accounts you add. When you're satisfied with all the configurations and are ready to start trying pins on Pinterest, let's scroll up and click Save. Success. After saving, let's click the status button to make it active. Now that it's active, let me show you another option in automating try on Pinterest using Socinator. This one allows us to create campaigns, which is perfect for multiple accounts. To start, let's go to the upper right corner of the app and click the social drop-down button and select Pinterest. This will take us to the accounts tab. Let's switch to the pin try or pin commenter tab and select try on the left side of the app. Here, you can name our campaign. Let's call it Pinterest Try. On their search query, let's use keywords as our query type and type pets in the query box. Click Add. For Manage Note, let's make the same note from earlier. So, pets for try text. And upload the puppy's picture. Click Open. Success. For queries, we only have one, so keywords. Filter text, it's up to you. Click Add Note to List, and it's added to the note list. For Job Configuration, let's select Slow. For Pin Filter, let's ignore Videos. For User Filters, let's check the first and the last ones. For After Try Action, let's follow the user after trying their pins. And let's skip Blacklisted Users, Private Blacklist. When you're ready, let's click the blue button, select Account or Accounts. In this part, you can select multiple Pinterest accounts. Since we only have one account right now, let's go with that by checking the box and click Save. After saving, let's click the red button, Create Campaign. If you want to proceed, click your account and the Save button. This will automatically bring us to the Campaigns tab where you can see that we have successfully created our Pinterest Try campaign. Click the status button to pause the campaign, and the action button over here will allow us to edit, duplicate, or delete the campaign. And that's it for this tutorial. I hope you learned a lot, and thank you so much for watching.